Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to perform text animation in your website. So this is the demo that we're going to create in this video. So let's refresh this and see how it looks. So we have these animations for this text. And the best part is that you have access to each of these individual letters or characters in these words. So you can animate each of these characters the way you want to animate it. So that gives you a lot of control for the animation of the text. So you can animate all these different kinds of effects for your website. And for this we'll be using a library called Splitting.js. So let's get started. Before getting started with this tutorial, let me just uh, inform you that I'll be creating a video series on creating a blogger template from scratch. So I'll show you how to design everything in the HTML and CSS and then convert it to a blogger template. It will be a basic template which will show you the basics of how a template is created. And then you can go ahead and create advanced templates using the knowledge from that. So if you are interested in that, please uh, click on the subscribe button if you haven't already and also click on the bell notification button so that uh, you will get the notifications of the videos. Alright, so let's get started with this tutorial. So this is the official homepage of Splitting.js, splitting.js.org and uh, here we can see we already have some animations for this text. And if you go to demos, you can see we have a lot of examples of how to use this library. You can just click on any of these and you'll be able to see the source code over here on the left. This is codepen.io so you can just edit any of these code over here and you will get the result on the right. So just go ahead and take a look at some of the demos if you want. Now let's go to guide and let's see how to add this to our website. We'll be using a CDN for this so let's click on using a CDN. And uh, we can see that we need to add these three lines of code to get splitting JS on our website. So let's copy these three lines of code and uh, let's go to our code editor. We'll just create a file called index.html and we'll also create a style.css file. And since this is VS Code, we can just type exclamation and press tab and you'll get this basic HTML5 code. Let's also link our style.css file over here and uh, then let's also add the three lines of code that we copied. So we have added the splitting JS library to our website. Now the only thing you need to do is uh, create a script tag and uh, you just have to type splitting and then give a data attribute to the elements for which you want to have the animation and you'll be able to perform the animation. So let's create a script tag and here we will type splitting. This is a method that we'll call. Alright, so let's create a division with a class of animation container and in that we'll create an h1 and we'll also give it a class. So for the heading we want to have animation for each of the individual characters. So we'll just give it a class of splitting cars and I will just type live blogger official over here. And the important thing to do is add a data attribute. So it will be data hyphen splitting. Now when you add data hyphen splitting, it will be defaulted to characters and I'll show you how it looks on a website. So I'll just open this in a browser. All right, so this is our heading. Now let's right click over here and click on inspect. And let me show you how it is displayed in the inspector. So here we can see we just created a heading but uh, inside the heading we have all these spans with different words and then inside each of that we have different characters. So we have a span with a class of char and we also have a variable with char index 0, 1, 2, 3 so we can access each of these characters individually. In the same way we have the second word and the third word. So each of the characters can be accessed with uh, these classes or even these variables and you can access the word with the class word. So this is how splitting JS helps you in uh, performing the animation because it splits all these things into single characters. So you don't have to do all this by yourself. 
all right so now let's go ahead and uh, add the next elements so next we have a paragraph so for the paragraph we will have a class called splitting words because uh, we'll be animating each of the words individually and uh, here we'll just type learn web designing and uh, for this let's give a data attribute we'll type data splitting and uh, since this is for the words we have to type equals and then type words if you want to have characters you can just type data splitting because by default it will be set to characters but if you want to animate each of the words individually then you can type data hyphen splitting equals words so we can animate each of these words individually all right so lastly we have three words blogger wordpress and wix so for that let's create a container division so we'll just give it a class of topics container and uh, we'll create a span and we'll give it a class of blogger and we'll type blogger over here and uh, we also need to add the data attribute so we'll just type data splitting because we'll be accessing each of the characters individually let me just copy this two more times and uh, here we'll type wordpress and here we'll have wix all right so that's it with the html now let's go back to our uh, browser so this is how it looks let's open this in the inspector and uh, see whether everything is working all right so here we have the h1 and we have everything split into different elements then we have the paragraph we can see that it is split in words and lastly we have the topics container in which we have three words which are separated into different characters right so everything is working all right now the last thing to do is animate this using css so let's open our css so we have already linked our css over here so the first thing we style is uh, the division with the class of animation container and uh, we'll give it a background color of dark gray and uh, let's set the width to 500 pixels and uh, we'll center it horizontally so we'll just type margin and for top and bottom we will set a margin of 32 pixels and for left and right auto and we'll give a padding of 16 pixels and uh, we'll also set a font family of roboto all right so now let's style the h1 so we'll type h1 and it also has a class called splitting cars and for this let's give a background color of red and uh, the color of the text to white we'll also set a padding of 8 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right and uh, text align to the center we'll also text transform to uppercase we'll first of all style all these elements and uh, lastly we will add the animation so now let's style the paragraph so we'll type p with the class of splitting words and let's text align this to the center and uh, font size of 20 pixels and the color to yellow now the next thing to style is the topics container so let's type dot topics container and for this let's set a background color of black and we'll set the color of the text to white and uh, let's set the padding to 32 pixels and we'll set the font size to 24 pixels and we'll text align it to the center right now we need to have a gap between these three elements so let's type topics container arrow span so we have to add this arrow over here because uh, if we right click over here and click on inspect we can see inside uh, the topics container we have the span but inside that we have another span and in that we have another span so we have a lot of spans inside that now if you just want to target the first span inside topics container then you have to add this uh, greater than symbol over here if you just type topics container space span then all the spans inside topics container will be targeted so we have to add this over here or right, so let's set the margin to zero for top and bottom and eight pixels left and right all right so now we're done with the styling now let's start with the animation so let's scroll up and uh, let's start with the animation for the h1 
Now let's right click over here and click on inspect and uh, here we can see inside the H1 we have this span with the class of char. So these are the spans that we want to target. So these are each of the characters inside the H1. So here let's type H1 dot splitting cares and uh, then here we will type dot char. So this will target each of the characters inside this heading. Now let's set an animation for this. So we'll type animation and we'll just give it a name of fade and we'll set the duration to one second and four words which means that the animation will stop at the end position. Alright, so now let's create the animation. To create an animation you have to type at keyframes and the name of the animation and here you can add percentages 0, 1%, 2%, 50% till 100%. Now for 0% you can even type from and for 100% you can type to. So first of all the opacity of the heading will be 0. So it will start from 0 and reach to opacity 1. So now if you refresh this page, we can see that everything is uh, being displayed at the same time. We don't have individual characters being displayed separately. So for that we have to add an animation delay and we also have to add some calculations. So let me show you how to do that. We'll type animation delay and uh, we will add a calc function over here. And uh, let me just show you the structure once more. Let's go to inspect. And here we can see for each of the characters uh, we have a style and uh, this is a variable char index 0, char index 1, 2, 3 and uh, then let's open the second one. Here we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So all these characters have different index values. So we can take advantage of these values and we can set different delays for each of the characters. So here first of all we'll type a base delay so we'll type 0 0.2 seconds for now and uh, we will add different values to different characters so we'll type plus and in another parenthesis we will type uh, just some value you can change these values and uh, set it to your needs i'll just type 0 0.1 second and we'll multiply it with the index values so let's type var hyphen hyphen char index so now what happens is that it will start from 0 0.2 seconds. So the first value is 0 so it will start at 0 0.2 seconds and for the next value we have the char index of 1. So it will add 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 multiplied by the char index value which is 1. So it will be 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 and it will have a slightly longer delay. So in this way the higher index value we have the longer will be the delay. So let's save this and see how it works. So now we can see that the animation is working alright. Let's refresh it once more. Now let's also add a transform translate so that the characters move a little bit when being displayed on the screen. So let's type transform translate x. We will set a value of 16 pixels. And at 100% we will set the translate value to 0. So just copy this over here and I will set this to 0. And uh, let's refresh our page. And we can see that everything is working alright. Now we can just remove from from here because uh, we don't have an initial value. It will be just the value that we have over here. Alright so now in the same way we will animate uh, this uh, paragraph. Now for the paragraph we have to target the words so let's inspect this and we can see inside the paragraph we have spans with classes of word so let's target that p dot splitting words dot word and uh, let me just copy these from here because it is almost the same. Now we will call this animation grow and uh, let's add the animation over here so i'll type at keyframes grow in the beginning we have the opacity of zero and at the end we will set the opacity to one and we'll also change the translate to scale and uh, initially it will have a scale of 0 0.7 and at the end we will set the scale to one which is the default scale so here we can see how it looks 
and we'll also set a different value here for the animation delay so it will start at two seconds and uh, here instead of car we will type word now let's decrease the duration of the animation so we'll just set it to 0 0.4 seconds now we need to also have some bounciness for this animation so for that i have created a cubic bezier value so let me just add that over here i'll just type cubic bezier and the values will be 0 0.17 0 0.67 0 0.61 and 1.82 if you want to get some cubic bezier values you can go to this website called cubicbezier.com and uh, just change these arcs over here and then click on go and uh, you can see how the animation will work so you can just uh, tweak these uh, handles over here and then just copy this value from here just click on copy and copy this value and then you can add that to your website so now let's see how it works so everything is working all right now the last thing is to animate these three words over here so we'll be animating them based on the characters so let's type topics container and then we have a span with a class of blogger and in that we have characters so let's inspect this here we can see inside uh, the span with the class of blogger we have word and in that we have characters so let's access that over here we'll type dot char and we'll get the characters of wordpress and wix as well so let me just copy this and paste it over here and one more time and uh, let's change this to wordpress and this to wix now here we'll create an animation and uh, we'll name it bounce and we'll set the duration to one second and it'll be running for infinite amount of time and uh, let's create the animation over here so we'll type at keyframes bounce by default the opacity will be zero and we'll start with opacity of one and uh, we'll also have some transitions so the characters will move up and down so let's type transform and we'll type translate y and we'll just set a value of 8 pixels let me just comment this animation for now and uh, i think we'll start with 4 pixels and in 0% we will have the same value that is 4 pixels and in 50% we will have value of negative 4 pixels and then in 100% will have the same value of 4 pixels now let's uncomment this animation and see how it works and we also have to add opacity of 1 over here alright so now we can see that the animation is working now we need to set it to each of these characters so let's copy this uh, animation delay from here and uh, we'll paste it over here and we'll just change some values first of all we'll set this to 3 seconds and then we have 0 0.1 second and var char index so everything seems to be all right so let's uh, refresh and see how it works so we can see that every animation is working all right so this is basically how you add animation to your text individually to each of the characters inside your website so this is just a basic animation you can go ahead and use your creativity and create awesome animations with this type of control on your text so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day